In this video, I'm going to show how to use Darknet, Dark Help, and Dark Mark to set up a neural network project, uh, do all the necessary annotations, create the Darknet configuration files, and then use the output of Dark Mark to train a new neural network. By the way, all this is running in a VirtualBox VM. It's uh, Ubuntu 20.04 that I've got installed here, the desktop edition. I'm going to follow the instructions here on this page because I've got instructions for both uh, Darknet and Dark Help. Let's do one step at a time. So, really simple. I want to make sure that everything is installed, all the packages that I need. So I'm good with that. Um, I need to create a source directory. First thing we're going to do is get clone of darknet. This shouldn't take too long. All right, I'm running in a VM, so I don't have a GPU that I have access to in this VM. What I'm going to do is open CV, open MP, I want libso, set all these to one, and that's it. Um, next thing. Let's get this built. This should be fairly quick. So this will be the CPU version of Darknet. Uh, when I'm running in a VirtualBox VM, I don't run the GPU one. All right, sudo copy. So we now have Darknet built and installed, and I can try to run it here. And uh, Darknet, there you go. Next step is building Dark Help. So let's do that. Or all the dependencies I'm going to need. We're going to do a git clone. Dark help. Uh, I'm going to create a build directory. I see make, make a 16. it so now we're going to create the package and we're going to install that package there you go all right that is darknet and dark help which are done next step is dark mark all right so for dark mark i have some build instructions here there you go so Here's all the dependencies, and there's there's a lot more for Darkmark because it uses juice. I've got everything. Next, I need this line here. This should be quick. Dark mark, build, uh, next the CMake line, so as soon as this is done we're going to have the three pieces in place. We're going to have dark net, dark help which is the C++ layer and dark mark which is what I use to set up my projects and to annotate all of my images and you see that the whole thing has taken 
I mean, seconds. It doesn't take long to get, get this installed. If you, if you want the GPU version of Darknet, of course, it's more involved because then you need the NVIDIA files. But for setting up a project and for annotating your images, you don't need all that, and it runs just fine in, in a VM. That's it. So now, package, MSI, dark mark. And we have everything installed. All right, what I'm gonna do now in my home directory, I'm gonna create a neural network folder. And uh, so in here is where I would create all my neural networks. I create a subfolder for each one. This one's going to be called Fire. And I have a few files. Uh, what did I call it? There you go. So those files that I have on my desktop, I'm going to move to here. These are videos from YouTube that I downloaded. One's a car fire. One is a, is a couch that's on fire. And the other one is an electrical fire. And then the other thing that I want to do, this particular network has a single class. It's really simple. So, fire.names, I'm going to create that file there that has the name of all of the classes. Yeah, I can get rid of this window here. Let's bring up Darkmark. That's fine. So, we're going to create a new folder, uh, neural network, fire, okay, file the name file, there's nothing in it yet. So what we need to do now is take some of the video files that I copied and we're going to extract some of the frames. So let me maximize this, import video. Uh, let's start with the car one. So I want to, let's say, uh, three videos. Let's say we're going to take 50 frames from each. So random number of frames, 50, do not resize, save as JPEG, 75. That sounds good. So import that. That's fine. We don't need that. Okay. Import video again. All right, next, the couch one. Again, let's say we're going to take 50 random frames from that video. Do not resize. Say this JPEG is good. I don't care about this window. And one last time, and this one uh, is the electrical fire one. All right, so now we have three video, um, three folders, each of which has frames that were imported from those videos. So the first one is the car one. You know what? I'm gonna change that. Set zero one. This one is the car one. So this one is the couch one. Set two is couch. And of course, the last one is the electrical one. Set three is electrical. All right. So we have 150 images, 0% of which is annotated. Um, I'm going to say... And that's fine. So the neural network does not exist yet. Dark mark is just saying it's not there. So that's fine. This is what it looks like. Now we can go through and annotate these images. They're in alphabetical order right now. You can see the different sets. This is the next set. And the third set, actually, the third set is right there. This is the third set. Okay, so 
Uh, what I'm going to do is annotate a bunch of these images. It's really simple. I want to get the flame area. And so you annotate like that. Fire. That's it. Move on to the next one. These are the kind of things that... Uh, that's what needs to be done to most of the images that are here. There's some exceptions. Uh, for example, in this one, when there's no fire, uh, you can use the letter N to say that there's nothing in this frame that needs to be annotated. Or if you press Enter or the letter C, uh, you can pick uh, empty image. And it'll mark that entire image as being empty. Uh, if you press the letter N for nothing of interest on this frame, it'll automatically move to the next image, which is kind of convenient. So if you've got a bunch of frames at the beginning of the video that don't have anything, you can mark them all as being empty until the fire starts. Oh, there you go. So in this particular image, I would select this. There's our fire. So I'm going to pause the recording right now and I'm going to go through and annotate all of these images. And then uh, I will I will unpause once I'm done that. That should be 150 images. And if I go back to the launcher screen, there you go. 100% images are marked up, 150. What we need to do next, when we right mouse click and say create darknet files, I'm going to pause here to point out that you'll likely need to modify the darknet directory in this field. If you set it up like I did at the start of this video, Darknet was cloned and built as a subdirectory to source and not in your home directory. I forgot to change this when I recorded this video. Alright, we're going to look at the configuration files. I'm only interested in the tiny ones. And YOLO V4 Tiny is the one that I want. So I'm going to make sure that that's what is selected as my template. 416 by 416 is a good size to start with. Batch size, uh, 64. Subdivisions, uh, knowing the network card that I have so that I don't want to run out of memory, I probably need something like 4 or 8. I'll try 8 to start. And one class with 150 images. The minimum is 6,000. Uh, so I'll start with that. Uh, do not resize images. Resize images. To my, so this the these are relatively new options. The ones that I want are these ones. So all these images that are larger than 416 by 416 will be resized. And on top of it, all images that are larger than 416 by 416 will also be tiled, which will give me even more images to train on because it'll it'll cut out pieces of these images to create tiles that measure exactly 416 by 416. Uh, do I want to do anything else? Not from here. Not from here. Data augmentation, miscellaneous. We can turn on flip, which by default is on, and mosaic helps as well. So we'll, both of those should be enabled, and that's it. So when I click on OK, like I just did, it went through and created all the necessary files for Darknet to train a network. And then out of the 150 images that I have, it, by resizing some of them and tiling other ones, I now have 450 images to work with. And it's telling me that it created a, a shell script that I can run to actually do the tra training.
which is good. So that's it. We can quit from this. And then uh, I'm going to send this to my GPU rig because I don't train in my VM because it doesn't have access to a GPU. Uh, so I have a, another rig. Like people often use AWS instances or any other cloud computing um, that have more powerful GPUs. And you can use scripts like the one that Darkmark uh, creates the send files to GPU rig. So if I run this, let me just show you what that does. It's real simple. Um, it does an rsync, and it sends it to a to a device or a computer called GPU rig. So in my host file, I make sure that I have an alias for GPU rig, right? So if I take a look at this my GPU rig is this one, 1.42. Darkmark also creates another script called get results from GPU rig. So after you do your training, then you can say, okay, go and get all of the results. And there you go. So that's what the chart looks like. And now I have, uh, let me clear this. I have the weights file that I need. I have, of course, the C CFG file um, and the names file. All right, so I'm going to bring up Dark Help, get rid of random. So that we can see the transition. And the electrical one is this one. That one, the flames are too small, it doesn't detect it. That's it, that's all we have. Hope this helps.